salinity of ocean waters. Ocean and sea waters have three major properties, which are essential to men as well as other life forms on Earth. These properties are temperature, salinity, and density. In this module, you will learn about the salinity of seas and ocean water. The water flowing from various rivers into the sea, or ocean, contains different types of salts and minerals. The evaporation of sea and ocean water through the hydrologic cycle leads to a concentration of salts in these waters. Hence, the proportion of these salts in the sea and ocean waters keeps increasing, thus making it saline. The most commonly found salt compounds in ocean water are sodium, chlorine, magnesium, calcium, and potassium. Ocean waters also contain dissolved atmospheric gases. The carbonates in the water are consumed by animals, whereas silicates are absorbed by plants. Hence, there is a general concentration of chlorides and sulfates in ocean water. Salinity refers to the concentration of dissolved salts in pure water. The salinity of ocean water is expressed in parts per thousand by mass or weight, that is the number of grams of dissolved salt in 1000 grams of sea water. The average salinity of ocean water is found to be 35 parts per thousand. The concentration and proportion and types of salts vary across the oceans. The factors that influence salinity are rate of evaporation, supply of fresh water through rivers, supply of meltwater, wind, ocean currents, and rainfall. High salinity is observed in partially enclosed seas or landlocked seas due to high rate of evaporation and limited supply of fresh water. The difference in the amount of salinity occurs both horizontally and vertically. The lines joining the places of equal salinity on a map are called isohalines. Horizontal distribution of salinity of ocean water is studied in relation to latitudes and regional distribution. On the basis of latitudinal distribution of salinity, we can identify four zones of oceanic salinity. These are equatorial zone, tropical zone, temperate zone and polar zone. Let us now study the distribution of salinity across open oceans, partially enclosed seas, and landlocked seas. The equatorial region is located between 0 and 15 degrees north and south of the equator. This region receives direct sunlight, thus having high solar energy. This region also receives heavy rainfall throughout the year, thus having many rivers that flow into the ocean. The average salinity in the equatorial region is 34 parts per thousand. The tropical region lying between 15 degrees and 35 degrees north and south of the equator receives medium amount of sunlight. This region has seasonal rainfall with very few rivers emptying themselves into the oceans. The salinity in the tropical region is very high with an average being 37 parts per thousand. The temperate region located between 35 degrees and 65 degrees north and south of the equator receives low sunlight. 
The rainfall in this region is seasonal, with a medium supply of fresh river water to the oceans. Hence, the salinity is less in the temperate region, with an average of 33 parts per thousand. The polar region is located between 65 degrees and 90 degrees north and south of the equator. It receives very low sunlight at an inclination with seasonal rainfall. The supply of fresh river water is low, while the supply of melt water is high. Hence, the salinity is quite low in the polar region, with an average of 31 parts per thousand. The Mediterranean Sea located in the tropical region receives a good amount of sunlight. However, both the rainfall and the supply of river water are low. The average salinity of this sea is 39 parts per thousand. The Red Sea located in the tropical region also receives a good amount of sunlight. However, the rainfall is low and the supply of fresh water is very low. Hence, the average salinity of the Red Sea is 41 parts per thousand. The Baltic Sea is located in the temperate region. The sunlight reaching this region is low. The region receives medium rainfall with a good supply of fresh water. Hence, the average salinity of this sea is only 7 parts per thousand. The Dead Sea is located in the tropical region. The rate of evaporation in this region is very high due to high solar energy. The rainfall around the Dead Sea is very low, with hardly any river reaching this sea. Hence, the average salinity in the Dead Sea is 332 parts per thousand. The Caspian Sea is located in the temperate region. The sunlight reaching this region is medium. Hence, the rate of evaporation of this region is low. The region receives less rainfall with a low supply of fresh water. Hence, the average salinity of the sea is 155 parts per thousand. The Great Salt Lake is located in the temperate region. The sunlight reaching this region is medium. The rainfall around this region is low, with hardly any river supplying fresh water to this lake. Hence, the average salinity of Great Salt Lake is 220 parts per thousand. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on salinity of ocean waters.